come down with like, like a mighty rushing wind. We ask souls be filled with the Holy Ghost. Souls will be baptized in your name, Lord. Men chains, oh God, that are bound by the enemy, Lord, that their chains will be broken in the name of Jesus, that the, oh God, that the sight of the blind be open. We pray, God, that deaf ears will be unstopped. We pray, God, for a mighty move of your spirit, oh God, in this place, that, oh God, that the nations, oh God, will see and believe, oh God, that there's a God in Zion. There's a God in Mount Zion, the God that watch over Israel, neither slumber nor sleep. We ask you to move in this way, oh God. Move in this time, Lord, that we him. Oh God, that souls will be converted. That men are, oh God, will be given to you. In the name of Jesus, men will cry out, here I am, oh God, here I am, I give my life to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for these miracles. We thank you for revival. We thank you for deliverance. In the name of Jesus, we receive it, Lord. We believe by faith. Oh God, we are claiming the victory, oh God, over every circumstances, over every diseases, oh God. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus. And we believe it, Lord. Bless your people financially. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We rebuke the devourer, Lord. We rebuke the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Reclaiming it, Lord. By your name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For there's no other name, oh God, higher than your name. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for victory. We thank you for deliverance in Jesus. I feel him in the atmosphere. Oh, the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. Oh, the presence of the Lord is here. Come on, do you feel him? I feel him in the atmosphere. Oh.
sing. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, there's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like there's no God like Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a great God we serve. Hallelujah. A healer. Hallelujah. A lawyer. Hallelujah. He keeps us when we need to be kept. Hallelujah. He is everything that we need. Thank you, Jesus. What a great God. What a great God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will exalt you. I will exalt you.
Hallelujah, 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 glory, glory, glory. Amen, somebody. Mark chapter 4, Mark chapter 4. 
And we read today, and I'm just going to read from the message. Late that day he said to them, let's go across to the other side. They took him in the boat as he was. Other boats came along. A huge storm came up. Waves poured into the boat, threatening to sink it. Jesus was in the stern, head on a pillow, sleeping. They rose him saying, teacher, is it nothing to you that we are going down? Awake now. He told the wind to pipe down and said unto the sea, quiet, settle down. The wind ran out of breath. The sea became smooth as glass. Jesus reprimanded the disciples, why are you such cowards? Don't you have any faith at all? They were in absolute awe, staggered. Who is this? Anyway, they ask. Wind and sea at his beck and call. Who is this? Amen, somebody. God bless you. God bless you. We sing a song, we like to sing a song, Master, the tempest is raging. The billows are tossing high. Hallelujah. And he went on to say, the wind and the wave shall obey your will. Peace. Be still. We live in a world today that is in turmoil. People are engulfed by the storms of life just about every day. Right now we are living in a pandemic period and with that all kinds of unrest and unsettling situations. If we watch the news or hear what's happening from Ottawa, Queen's Park, and all over the country, we have folks are rising up against what they call pandemic lockdown. At times it seems that things are so bad that it's hard to believe that a good God created the world, said it was good, yet it seems he allowed all his terror and violence to happen in every day. But in the midst of this chaos and uncertainty, the church of Jesus Christ must have a voice. Amen, somebody? The voice cannot be because of fear or faithlessness. But it must be a voice that declares the will and purpose of God. Even in a time of uncertainty, we have a duty. We have a mandate from God. And that is to remain firm to the cause and with faith in God, stick to the call. Amen, somebody. Let's go over the other side was a call that Jesus made to his disciples. It is all right sometimes we, we get up and we criticize the disciples. They had no faith. 
But there's a difference between the judgment of God and the judgment of man. Amen, somebody? When we look and consider Jesus was, let me say, instructing his disciples about things of life. In the upper verses of the, this chapter, Jesus was talking to them about the sower that goes out and sow. Amen, somebody. How some fell among thorns. Some fell on stony ground. Amen. But thank God Almighty, there were some that fell on good ground. Amen. I look and I consider it, and one of the things that I consider was that although they all fell on good grounds, the one that fell on good grounds, they all did not bring the same amount of fruit, which had help in the house. Because we save and sanctify and we get the Holy Ghost, we all does not do the same thing. Amen. We all do not produce the same amount of spiritual fruit. Amen, somebody. Some 30, some 50, some 100. But I don't care what you produce. You just need to know that you produce something that God can be pleased with you. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You see, when Jesus told the disciples, let's go out on the other side, they already had some kind of fear in their spirit, even before the storm came. Why? Because they were moving from their comfort zone into another area that was a Gentile territory. Amen, somebody. We have to understand that when God is moving you from one area to another, it's uncomfortable. I wish I'd help in the house. Amen, somebody. And they understood when Jesus said, let's go over on the other side, that they were moving out of their comfort zone. But who knows that anything that God command, God is right there to take care of you. Oh, hallelujah. They didn't expect a storm. What they expect was to go to take a ride because the master of ocean was right in the ship. But I want to tell somebody today, right in the boat of life that you're living in, there are storms. Oh, God Almighty. You speak in tongues and you shout hallelujah and you come to church, but there are storms. Oh, God Almighty. Amen, somebody. Some storms, hallelujah, are different types of storms. Some may have sickness storms. I wish I'd help in the house. Sometimes you're sick that you don't know what's going on with you. And my God, you pray and you fast. And sickness still rock in your body. And you still have to give God praise. That's a storm. Hey, hallelujah. Somebody may have family problem. That's a storm. Relationship problem. That's a storm. Some folks come to church and even in church they have so much disturbances. But I want to tell you, I don't care where you are, if Jesus is in your ship, your storm can be calm. Oh my God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Understand this. There are certain things in life that you go through that you have experienced. And sometimes the same thing come upon you in a different way. That the experience that you had seemed don't 
even compare with what you're going through. Understand this. These boys were fishermen. Amen, somebody? And as fishermen, they must have countered rough sea. Amen, somebody? They must have encountered, I mean, storms on the sea. But do you know sometimes that some things that you have been through in life, sometimes when it hit you another time, it feels different? Sister Trail, God bless you. It's good to have you in the house today. God bless you. Do you know, understand that sometimes the thing that you have been through two years ago, amen, somebody, when that thing seems to come around back at you, it seems as if it come back with more force than you ever experienced. The disciples understood what it was to have turbulence on sea. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Amen, somebody. Turbulence in your life. Turbulence with Jesus in the vessel. I'm which I help in the house. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. It was at Jesus' command that they were traveling on the ocean. Let me say on the Sea of Galilee. But traveling on the sea with Jesus in the ship. Hallelujah. It seems contrary to know that Jesus is there and I'm still in trouble. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, amen, somebody. Water coming in on the ship. It means now it's time that the ship is going to sink. Oh, hallelujah. But somebody went to Jesus. Come on, church. Get up, Jesus. No, oh, hallelujah. You don't care about us? You don't care about us? How many times we has people of God filled with the Holy Ghost feel as if God don't care? I wish I had help in the house today. I wish I had some people who were really, some real people. Sometimes you go down and you have to cry out to God, what in the name of heaven happening? It seems as if you are standing by and everything is going bad with me. Whoever have that prayer yet? Oh, come on. I trust you. Sometimes we even have to be like uh, Ezekiah. God you have seen how I walk before you. I, I wish I had some people in the house. God, you have seen my sacrifice in the house. Yet it seems as if the devil is having a field day with my bank account. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Where are you, God? And sometimes we do that. Not because we don't know that God is there. But we need to get his attention. 
That's why I don't, I don't understand folks that fill with the Holy Ghost and can pray. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, please save me, God. There are times when you need to cry out. Open your mouth. Let the devil know that you have got somebody who is on the inside of your ship. So though I feel discouraged right now. Hallelujah. Come on, church of the living God. There's sometimes you get in church and you shout hallelujah. And by the time you get through the door, you feel as if I'm not going back to any church. Pressures of life get to you. Sometimes somebody just look at you and they were not really looking at you, but the devil make a monster out of what's going on. And my God, by the time you leave church, you feel as if church is no use going back to. But the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Somewhere on the inside, there is Jesus. Call him up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sometimes we are too calm. But guess what? There are times in your life, can I just talk to you today? There are times in your life you have to fight in your spirit. And there are times in your life you have to open your mouth. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, open your mouth. And sometimes you, you, sometimes you can't pray. You have to just say, Jesus. Jesus. Some of us have to say Jesus as though we are tarrying for the Holy Ghost. Oh, God help me today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's Jesus. Jesus. Is Jesus, is Jesus, who shall tell about, hallelujah. Sometimes all you can do, because words cannot formulate to tell him how you feel. Hallelujah. But I'm going to get him up anyhow. Sometimes one of the things is that the devil tells us, don't worry, call. You have been through this before. Hallelujah. So what's the difference now? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And one of the worst things about it is when you believe in yourself that you're doing everything that you know how to do. Hallelujah. Yet the storm is as such that my ship Begin to break. But I see a man. In a ship. Under. Lock and key. 
was a prisoner and he was in a ship. There was a wave that was coming and I want to tell somebody that sometimes although you're called Jesus, your ship maybe look like it's breaking up. But I heard Paul said the angel of God was with him. And the angel told him, stay on your ship. Oh, don't jump off. Don't jump board. Hallelujah. Don't give up on what's going on. Stay on your ship. Hallelujah. The ship break up. Oh, hallelujah. All you have is just a piece of the ship to hold on to. But I'm telling somebody, you're not holding on to ship. You're holding on to faith in God. Oh, hallelujah. Ship may be breaking up, but my faith in God is holding me on. I can't, I can't preach it how I feel it today, but come on. Hallelujah. Somebody may feel, hallelujah, that everything about me is breaking up. My whole life, the hallelujah, hallelujah. But I heard Jesus when they sent and called him. And told him that Lazarus is dead. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That Lazarus is sick. He said, oh, come on. Let him stay. Because this sickness is not unto death. But it's for the glory of God. Hallelujah. There are some things you're going through. It's for the glory of God. God need to get glory out of your life. Hallelujah. Sometimes you're not praying as how you should pray. But God want you to get down and call him. Call him up. Hallelujah. Jesus did arrive at Lazarus' home. Well, when Jesus arrived at Lazarus' home, he was dead. Your storm can destroy, seemingly to destroy everything that's going on about you. There are some storms that come in your life that if you don't mind sharp, it alienates you from your very self. Amen. Amen, somebody? Because you don't even, you stop believing in who you are. Because some storms you don't even know who you are. It's as if you mean everything about you is foreign to you. And you still have to praise God when you're in that position. Amen, somebody? When the storms of life hit you, amen, somebody? And the only person you have to call on is Jesus. Come on. I don't care how friends and family and what there are times there are times that I get up in the night time 
two o'clock, three o'clock. I can't go in and wake up Sister Miller because she has her personal life dealing with. And sometimes for hours, I lay there. Sometimes you have to speak to yourself. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Ah, come on. You can't always look to somebody to give you comfort. You have to know in whom you believe. And be persuaded that he's able. That means in the, in the nick of time, in the night time, when you cannot take up a phone, don't you believe this? Sometimes I, I, want, I get up and I take up my phone and say, who can I call now? And I just put it down back. Oh, hallelujah. But Jesus... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to have an experience with Jesus. Hallelujah. Now when your storms are raging. Oh, come on. You can get down somewhere where you know he is and say, get up Jesus. Everything is coming in on me. Wind is blowing. The waves are dashing. Get up, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the midnight hour, you need somebody to speak peace to your spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's sometimes, I mean, understand this. God not going to speak peace to the circumstances that are giving you the storm. But he's going to speak peace to your spirit. Oh, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So when you feel as if you can't make it. When I feel as if hell is breaking loose. Hallelujah. When I feel as if there is no comfort in life. But I will lift my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help. My help. Come on children of the living God. I've got help in whom I believe. And I'm persuaded He's able. He's able. Storms blowing, but he's able. Bill is dashing, but I serve a able God. Hallelujah. 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 Church of the living God. I'm just right to tell somebody today that your God is able. He is in your ship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil sometimes wants you to give up on him. Because life is hard. But I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Jesus, 
Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, have mercy on me. I want to tell somebody, hallelujah, that sometimes the ones that should see not seen, but the ones that is blind, hear the blind Bartimaeus crying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. I need my sight. But the ones that should see and know who he is was calling him son of David. And I'm going to sit down shortly. But hear what I'm saying to you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot always see your way through. But you have to believe in the way that you're going. Blind Bartimaeus could not see, but he heard. Oh, God Almighty. That's why sometimes when I come to church, you know, somebody shout hallelujah. It does something in my spirit. I hear. I don't see what's going on, but I hear something. And something that I hear turns something on the inside. Let, let, let me say something. I'm going to say something and, and let's sit down. Thank God for all the things that's going on now, but I love the old time Pentecost church when somebody said Jesus and that Jesus resonated with somebody else and the power of God fall. Hallelujah. 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 That's why I love some church song that bring something to your spirit. Not only make me feel good, but when I get out of here, that's why I said, Jesus, lover of my soul, let me to thy bosom while the Nero waters roll, while the tempest still hide me. Hide me. Hide me, Jesus, till the storm passes over. Somebody need to cry out to God. Hide me, God. Hide me under your blood, Jesus. The storm. I don't know something. The storm is blowing. The storm is raging. It's breaking up your ship, man. But hide me, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This storm will pass. This storm must pass. But hide me. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on. Some of us need to be hidden under 
the wings of Jesus. You know, a, a, a lot of us from the West Indies, we know. When a hen has some chicken, and when she hears some strange noise, she gather up the chicken and she sit on them, cover them, hiding them from danger, hiding them from what we call the rat and the mongoose. Come on, church of the living God. She may be in danger, but she's hiding her chicken. Hallelujah. We serve a God who is not in danger, but is hiding. Hide me, Jesus. Hide me under your blood. Hide me, God, till the storm passes over. Till the tempest be no more. Keep me safe. 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 Keep my mind, keep my spirit, keep my soul, keep my body, keep me safe. Sometimes your body is going through a situation, but your spirit need to be safe. Because if your spirit is not safe, my God, you, you, you will lose yourself. But hide me under your blood, Lord. Hide me, Jesus. Hide me, Jesus. Hide me. Keep me safe. Keep me safe. I'm speaking to myself today. Keep me safe. Keep me safe. Keep me safe. Keep me safe. Till this storm. I don't know what your storm is today. But I know what my storm is. But Jesus. Keep my mind. Keep my spirit. Keep me under your blood. Let me still believe your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sickness ravaged in my body, but keep me safe that I can still praise you, God. I'm going to say this and sit down. Sometimes you're going through some things in life and it can turn your mind as to really what God is. It's not how long you've been in church, but it's your relationship with God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not that you're a preacher or you're not a preacher, but it's your relationship with God. Amen. 
keep me safe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That when the storm is over, I still have my testimony. When the storm is over, that's why I'm telling somebody right now, I'm telling myself now, shout while the storm is on. Don't wait until the storm is over for you to have a shout. But let the devil know I still believe God. Ask what?